And another myth again, they are all out there talking that we are here playing. Playing. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah. Same. Like our country, like we don't really know. like to see yeah. people taking a, a step. So, do they even know my school stand up? Yeah, he's in the first. They no, they don't even know. This is the easiest. I know they are going to be shouting. <laughs> so, how is water called? Water. So, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, I told you. Water is like, I told you. Yeah. <laughs> Precious Corner Vlogs. Merhaba. Merhaba. Benim adım Precious. Benim adım Marike Daku. Wow, what a beautiful name. Nasıl sinis? İyiyim. Okay, guys. Um, merhaba. Merhaba. Benim adım Precious. Benim adım Musu Maria Makiri. Musu nasıl sinis? İyiyim. Okay, so hoş geldiniz Precious Corner Vlogs. Teşekkürler. <laughs> Guys, that's it right there. Um, that was just an introduction in Turkish. I'm gonna be writing it right here on the screen, so you're gonna be reading it. We are in North Cyprus and we are just under Turkey, and the major language here is Turkish, so we are starting to incorporate it into our daily lives because we have to survive on the island. So um, I'm gonna be teaching you guys once in a while about some of the basic um, names of stuff. You get here on the island so today we're going to start with five basic stuff that you might need and you would want to know the names of this stuff so i'm going to be putting them on the spot both musu <laughs> and maron i'm going to be asking them the names of stuff in turkish and they're going to tell me and with that you're going to learn as well if they miss it don't worry they are still learning <laughs> okay so my five stuff who want to be the first i want to go first okay so, um, this is something you eat always, and, okay, how is apple, yes, apple called in Turkish? Well, apple is called elma. Yeah, she got it correct, guys. So, apple is elma, all right? So, the next time you go to the supermarket and you see apple and you just want to ask, like, okay, or you don't even see it and you're asking, you just ask for elma. They're going to understand you. That's how the um, apple is called. So my next one is bread. Musu. Um, Elve. No. Think harder. Yeah. Think harder. Can I help her? <laughs> Yvette. <laughs> Yvette. Yvette is yes. Yes. Yvette is yes. Okay. So um, I want to help. Like, just tell us how do they call bread? Bread is Eggman. No. Uh, <laughs> they are both they are both fighting a hard time, guys. So should I save them or not? Are you guys okay? Or you want yes, to know? Go ahead, go ahead. All right. So bread is actually called Eggmeg. Yes. If you go to the store and you're looking for bread, you can ask for Eggmeg. So that it is, guys. We have three more items. This is the easiest. I know they are gonna be shouting. <laughs> so how is water called? Water. So, <laughs> I told you. Water is like I told you. Yeah. So um, okay. The next one is good morning. Good night, Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Good night, Yes. In the morning when you go to school, you see your friends, your Turkish friends. You can just say like, good night. Good nighting, good nighting, Musu, good nighting, um, Mara. Yes, that's how you say good morning. And the last one is good evening. Good evening. How is it called? Anyone? Uh, 
Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so she got it wrong, so I'm gonna just help you guys. Good evening is called E Aksham Lash. Oh, That's not, it's kind of hard. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of hard. E means good. Okay. So when you say E, I say I'm good. Ben E, I'm fine. So I'm good. Yes. E action lash. Yes. So, guys, that's the five words we have for you today. The first one is apple, which is Emma. Emma. Okay. We have bread, which is Ekmet. Ekmet. Yes. We have water, which is so. Their favorites. We have good morning, which is. Good night. Good night. Good night. And we have good evening, which is e Lash. Hope you guys learned from this section right here on Precious Corner. We're going to take a quick breather and we'll be right back with you. Hi, guys. Welcome back. We are done with the whole Turkish section. We are now going to communicate to you in english right here and um the main topic we're going to be talking about today is about the facts and the myths of not cyprus i know you guys have heard a lot like a lot if i just give you the platform to start saying things you've heard about not cyprus like it's going to take the whole day like you you know a lot even without you being here and some of these things you know are true others are just myth so today we just want to clear the air we're going to be talking about the facts and the myths about north cyprus so i have my girls here we're going to be discussing it but before that we just want to give you a quick um information about north cyprus and south cyprus like when you're back home maybe you don't really know you only hear cyprus cyprus cyprus but actually we are in the north of cyprus so what do you know about the north and the south of Cyprus. I'm going to start with Musu. Okay, so the North Cyprus is a portion of Cyprus because it is divided into two parts, north and south. And we are in the north thing part of Cyprus. And here in the north, you have a lot of businesses, you have schools, you have other places that people can come for tourism to tour the country. There are a lot of beautiful what do you know as well? Yeah, for what I know about North Cyprus, North Cyprus is basically on Turkey, an island in Turkey. But for the South, the South is part of the European Union. So that's how they are separated. That is the South and here is the North. For here the North is a good place for schooling. It's a business place. Also, it's a place that people come to see new environments. They got beaches. They got a whole lot of cool things here. But mainly here is for school. Yeah. So that's just it. They said it all. So north and south, they are two different countries. That, like yeah, but the south is mostly recognized because they are under the European Union. Like they are part of the country that are under the European Union and they are mostly Greek on that side, they speak Greek but for a year this island is under Turkey and most of the things are being um, controlled by Turkey even though they have their own presidents and all of that but mainly before you even get to this island you get to pass through Istanbul which is in Turkey before you can even get here so mainly turkish is being spoken here and i think that's just the main difference so when people are talking they should at least know the difference between the north and the south but today in this video we're going to be talking about the north because that's where we are presided right now so i'm going to start with the fact okay things that you hear that are true so um i know you guys came from africa you had a lot of um like you had a lot of stuff and you are on the ground right now what can you say are some of the facts like since you came here what do you know about cyprus that you can say okay this is the fact about cyprus i'm going to start with Mara. okay for the facts here is that okay north cyprus is a good place for learning the learning environment is okay not too much noise here and secondly 
the schools here are accredited universities and when it comes to security we have good security here and when it comes to electricity oh back in africa we have a real electricity problem yeah. but for year oh sure. no we have good electricity stuff okay so that's the lady maron right there that's some of the facts she has seen since she got to the island so let's hear from the lady musu musu what are some of the things that you have come to north cyprus and you can say for a fact that these are the facts when someone is talking you can say this is not true this is true what are some of the facts about north cyprus okay some of the facts about north cyprus is they have good educational system like maron said their schools are accredited around the world not just in cyprus but turkey and then they also have good electricity system they have good health care they have better and standard living environments like i can tell for sure that the living environment here is really up to standard you have a very good environment to school to glow like you can see i'm glowing <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so the lady musu has talked much about the fact and i can i can as well add some stuff i think most of the things i have on my list they've already exhausted those stuff um i talked about good destination for learning they talk about that that's about the schools yes the schools are accredited people come from all over the world to study here i have pakistanis in my class i have um, people from all over the world like iran like yeah. south africa kenya uh, yes like we were from africa yeah. yeah yeah we have different uh, people from different places here in north cyprus so the next thing is the serene environment like it's back home i mean noise noise you know we from africa we like noise but even here if you how, how do you experience living in houses here like what what problem do you face with the turkish people mainly noise noise no noise yeah, absolutely noise. No noise. so you just have yeah. to there is no playing music very loud <laughs> in here if you want to play a music loud go somewhere yeah. else but not at home mm. because um, they don't like noise like even talking like speaking loud like it's prohibited like you have people knocking your door 24 7 asking you to keep quiet like they cannot sleep sure. <laughs> we've been experiencing those stuff so yeah. you can study because it's not noisy you know sometimes distractions all around and you would feel like yeah i cannot study because you are distracted by one thing or another but no, we, this place is a very quiet place and you can study if you want to. We also have schools, I accredited Maron talk about it. Yes, when you get documents from here, you can use it anywhere in the world. Yeah, and we have, yes, I said students come from all over. They have a very good weather. Yes, they have a good weather, especially during summer. It's sometimes cold, like extremely cold during the um, fall, or fall or spring. Right now we are in spring, but Charlie, it's just it's very cool. Well, it's like winter, so when it's cold, it's cold. When it's hot, it's hot. It's not like our time, like back home, where only one weather. <laughs> our our cold, our sure. cold weather is rainy, rainy season. Yeah, like dry season. that's <laughs> dry season. But for here, when it's cold, it's cold. You mm. need to cover yourself. So they have good weather, especially during summer. That's why people come from all over the world during summer. It's a it's a good place, tourist attraction. They have good beaches. They have good pools, good like um, resorts and places people can go to have fun during the summer. And glass can work here. I know you've heard stuff like that. Glass cannot work. Yeah. There are conditions, so people shouldn't generalize that. And I want to ask you guys, like, what do you have to say when people saying glass? cannot work here is it entirely or there are conditions that are attached to it what do you think okay let me speak towards that for a fact that they will say blood don't work here i would say it's not true i have come places and i have seen blacks work all over some work at the school telephone area hotels and many more but there should be a, a boundaries set, like there should be a guidelines set to work, right? If you will have to learn the Turkish, I mean, you stand at an advantage to work, 
right but if you you don't know how to speak turkish i mean you have to grow but there are still jobs there for them i mean they got casino they got hotel that you don't have to be your hard labor work i have seen blacks work so oh, what about you what's your experience with blacks and works in you know, uh blacks are working and that's a fact the the thing is for every country or every working environment they have some standard rules set up and one huge moral measure you need to learn how to speak their language because one of the problems here is language barrier. So how will you communicate with your boss if you don't know how to speak Turkish? So one thing you know how to speak Turkish. Even if you are not educated, you will still have a chance of working here in schools and other places. So blacks work here. Yeah, so yeah, and so even if you have to work, it should be that you will you have to speak standard English because mostly they are looking for people who speak well that they will understand if tourists try to come yeah. here to, to do business or to view areas i mean if you are working at a hotel you must yeah. know I'm how okay to speak them. well yeah. yeah so you see it's a fact blacks are working here but you cannot just come and just work like instantly like that no you don't get that you have to grow you are coming to a non-speaking english country and that's the barrier what separates you from other blacks Yes, as Myron said, we've gone to hold, um, the airports with seen um, blacks working with telecommunication companies and stuff because they speak the language. They were the ones who were even communicating what we were saying to the Turkish. So if you have an advantage or a skill that they need, definitely you're going to work. But if not, that's where you're going to get a um, hard labor job, unskilled job, like washing dishes and most of us, we don't like that kind of job. We just want to fly like that. Yeah. So, yes, yeah. But even the great America, when you go, you start from somewhere. Sure. Okay, there are jobs. But I'm, I'm going to talk mainly why students complain in the myth. Because um, I think it's about school. Yeah. Sure. The standard of education here is very high. Assuming you just came here, you came to leave. Fine, you're going to work this kind of even if you cannot speak Turkish you're going to find like little little jobs to do on the side but if you are in school it's kind of difficult because you need to study sometimes you come from this work in the morning most of them are in the evening throughout the day you have to go to the lectures when you come back you feel very very tired to even wake up to study yeah. that's the challenge and that's why people are saying there are no jobs like in my school you must make 90 plus to get an A and if you get a C, it's, it's just like failing because you're going to repeat your that course yeah. if your GPA doesn't get to the required um, um, like number they need, like three. Exactly. Yes, you're going to repeat. So, what are you going to do? And if you are repeating, you are paying the same school fees. So, would you risk working <laughs> for some money no, no, no, and, no. and repeating be. and paying that same money as, a, as school fees? Like, what are you going to go for? You're going to go for studying and school and it's a challenge going to school in a foreign mm -hmm. land without any means of support oh, that's why we that mainly advise mm -hmm. that when you are coming to north cyprus you should have a sponsor or source of income, income. yes or some people they, they take study leaves their yeah, organizations or companies are paying them they are cool they are managing here yeah. yes despite the prices hikes and stuff at least you're having something every now and then it's going to sustain you so that's just it um and the next one is prices are high oh what do you have to say about that really when it comes to prices here yeah, prices are increasing on a daily basis i mean you will go to buy a stuff today for just ten dollars labyrinth dollars let me talk about my country money labyrinth dollars and you will go after two or three days from now and you'll go and see that particular item you bought at ten dollars is hundred dollars <laughs> like, right. double, double, double increase. Double like we are used to increase in our country yes. but it's not that high sometimes so. it's just one percent zero point five percent but no the hacks are like it's, so. it's, it's really alarming you know so what do you have to say musu how do you see the recent price hikes and stuff and there's nobody should tell me it's because of russia no this started a way long, it's way long, long way long before yeah. Russia. I don't want to hear those kind of like because of Russia. No, things have started changing. I don't know if it's because a lot of foreigners are pulling in and stuff like that. We need to find out about that, but we cannot say that for a fact. But I, that's something. Because there are more students on the yeah, A lot of students are coming, and things are really like 
No, like on a daily basis, like for real. That's how it is. Like Musu, just give your input. Like how do you see the recent price hikes in goods and services? Uh, it's really, really kind of high. Like my said, things prices increase on a daily basis. And the thing is, they don't give you discount. Like, uh, no, no. If you go, the price that is there is there. You cannot change it. So, so even if you have a sponsor, it should be a sponsor that is consistent. Oh, like I know, I know how people that sponsors told them go to North Cyprus. We will take care of you. Sure. We will send you money. But even your sponsor will get tired if it's not somebody that's dedicated to you because you need to pay. The rents are in euros and all of that, pounds and all of that. So someone paying your fees and they are they are accustomed to paying this particular money, but every month it increases. Like yes. when the person get tired, unless you have someone who is so faithful to you yes. and your needs. Yes. And you so. gotta be kind of like a, a management student. You gotta manage money. Yeah. You know, foreign yeah. Yeah. You don't have to live a lavish, like an extravagant life. You know, that's why most people are living two in one. Like I and my own we share combo together. So sure. yes, we have to manage. We cannot afford to just be in one room. <laughs> this is Cyprus. No private, not Cyprus. No privacy. People are in houses, two in rooms, and sharing combos and all of that. That's just to manage because that's the country we find ourselves in. And for a fact, the prices are hiking. So no one should tell you that no, this not this is it. So when you are coming, prepare yourself. Sure. When you are coming, if you want to learn Turkish. If you want to go to school, fine. You don't want to go to school, you can find some of this work and work. Mm -hmm. That's the, the reality on ground. That's a fact. If you want to come as well to school, get yourself a sponsor. Sponsor, someone who can help you or job that maybe you not just leave your job, you're taking it steadily or something like that. Or you have a source of income some, one way or the other exactly. and you can be able to maintain yourself here. So these are some of the facts about North Cyprus. Guys, so right now we are going to be talking about the myth, like myths are just things that are believed to be true, but actually they aren't true. And there are a lot of myths about North Cyprus, and we're going to be talking about some of them. I'm going to ask uh, my girls to tell me what they've heard, like things they heard before they got here, and some of the things that people tell them that whilst they are here, the no is not true. So let's go, guys. Who's starting? Okay, so. One of the myths here is that your agent tells you when you come here, you will get job immediately that will help you to pay your school fees, and I mean pay your rent and many more, but it's a lie. Because the first thing, the job that you will even find, even if you say if you will come here immediately and find work, it won't be a work that will help to pay your fees, settle your rent, and many more. So maybe if you find a job that will pay you a good amount of money, you must have an advantage. Maybe like it's very rare. speaking the Turkish language and something like that. But it's a lie. So do not even believe that. Yeah, that's one of the myths, right? Yes. When you yes. get here immediately, like yeah. go, go. Oh, you tell you them I don't have money, I don't have money to pay my fees and stuff. They tell you, okay, go, just go. As soon as you go, you're gonna get job. Jobs are just floating around and you're just gonna get one and that's gonna pay for your fees and your rent. Like really, rent are in euros and pounds now as I'm speaking to you. Get in a place is not something easy. Alright, they're just gonna tell you to come and I me. I, I would advise anybody when you're coming at least get something to take care of yourself, your rent, your feeding for about one year. And any other thing is just a bonus. Mm -hmm. To be on the safe side because you are coming to a strange place. Like where men log, not the same a blind man will log. Sure. In the Kolokwa. Sure. That's what I'm gonna say. Because someone might come here and get it immediately. What about you? So at mm -hmm. least it's a there's a high chance you might also get there's a, it's a probability stuff. You might and you might not. So if you're coming to a strainer, at least prepare yourself sure. for one year. Nobody should tell you otherwise and you get here and you get stranded. Yes. So and just so secondly, uh, I will speak towards the issue of people come here to, to, to, to get their way out of here to another European country. Uh, Asian tell you that if you come here, you you you get immediately you will get visa and go to another European country. No, no, no, no. For North Cyprus. How many embassies? <laughs> Have we heard about the American embassy? And they yes. don't even carry out consular services. 
they are just here but they don't just they don't give like visas to go anywhere and the next one is turkey yeah sure yeah we'll not talk it and they have restrictions and issue. stuff that you need to get before you can even go to turkey and some of those things are not easy to get otherwise we'll all be in turkey sure if you want to go any european country you, you have, have to, go to go to turkey back africa or, or turkey. you go to turkey for visa. That's where, yeah that's where the embassies are Sure. And anything else? So yeah. Um, so uh, another myth people talk about North Cyprus is that they say the territory is not recognized, and that's a myth. North Cyprus is recognized by the Turkish Republic, sure. and it is under the Turkish Republic, so it's a recognized country around the world. Sure. And another myth is they say foreigners cannot own property, and that's a complete myth. Foreigners do own property. Yeah, in North Cyprus, you get your money, you buy your house, and then you rent your house out to students or people living in Cyprus. Uh, are there any rules like to that, or you just get money, or they ask for certain things? You should have certain amount of money in your account and stuff. Yeah, I think basically it goes for yeah, everybody. You should have certain. I don't think that you just come with, with the house money directly. You want to buy a house? No, you might have been in the country for a while. Yeah, you might have been able to save. Um, a lot of money with the banks that they trust you much. Like there are a lot of things that go into that. But as you said, it's a possibility that foreigners also get to own properties here because I have seen a lot of um, African um, um, salons. I've seen um, uh, African like supermarkets um, where they bring foodstuffs from Africa here to sell and stuff like that. And they are they are running their businesses. And Africans can do. A lot of stuff, yeah. If you um, have the finances, of course, and you're able to do what you can do. And what else? Okay, so another myth is people say North Cyprus is that beautiful, and that's a myth. I can bear to Guinea. We're going to be showing you Guinea. It's not somewhere. That's why you've not seen Guinea on this channel. But we're going to be going there. I've heard about Guinea. Yes, I've not been there. Yeah, when I just came, I was like, oh, they said that place, like, really, before I even came, I was checking. This sure. place is not beautiful. I was like, my friend, tell me things, let me see. Let's go outside. Like, <laughs> the houses are beautiful. The place is beautiful. The roads are tiled and stuff like that. So, yeah, no disrespect to Africa, but this place is really, really, really beautiful. So, like, Guinea, have you been to Guinea? Yeah, I've been to Guinea once. Wow, my students of mm. July 24. Where exactly did you guys go? Okay, we went to a certain resort. I can't remember the name now, but it's really. Beautiful. I told you that a lot of resorts here. Summer, you're gonna see on precious so Don't worry, Mara is gonna be feeding you stuff. Sure. Like, she wants to see all of the places. Sure. So, uh, like, we're gonna experience like how Musu experienced. Don't worry at all. We're gonna show you the beautiful part of North Cyprus, not the south of North, North America, North, North. <laughs> Oh. I want to show you guys, North Cyprus is beautiful, sure. like she said. I heard the same thing when I was coming. I was very worried. Like, I was worried, like, where am I going? This is okay, one thing we forget about, mm -hmm. which is a myth. People say, once okay. you are here, you can't receive money. That's okay. Okay. that as well? Yeah. Oh. Then you can't receive money. Money for you to receive or transfer money is really hard. I don't know what to do. Receive yeah. money to rescue money, money grant, RIA. They are all here. They are all here. So you receive money, you send money back home. And another myth again, they are all out there talking that we are here playing. Playing. <laughs> Prostitution. That. Yes. Same. Like all right of in our country, like we don't really, they don't really know. like to see yeah. people taking a, a step. So and do they even know my school standard near his university? No, they don't even know. Because if they know my school standard, <laughs> they, they, they, I would say the professors so are... All night study. Sure. Yes, because the standard is high. Like, really? Why we don't get to play here school, unless right? you are not yeah. in school. Imagine sure. instructors have PhD. Yeah. yeah. We don't get to, yeah. to, to, to do what and present to that. You have to put more time. You have to put more time. Yes. We are not playing here. We not are not playing at all. That's the that's the myth I really wanted to address. Sure. And I've been wanting to do video. I thank God that Maron has brought this up. Sure. All those saying carrying news around that ladies, females here, um, girls from Liberia here are into prostitution. 
why do we like to send bad information let's say one or two person has been stranded and for some reason they find themselves and doing stuff why should we generalize so sure. why should we generalize people came out here to be able to get degrees to be able to build the same country mm -hmm. we are here to um, gain more and these things Governments are the ones who should be sending us here. We shouldn't be here struggling exactly. what to eat, what to do, because we are all helping in development of the country. Sure. But we don't get that. So we took the initiative to come here. Some sure. people don't have money, but they are here. And they got here, and the place is becoming high. The, the, high, the economy is, is, is, is becoming so difficult for people. And one or two people has flopped. Doesn't sure. mean that everyone has flopped. We are still on guard. We are still here. We are still going to school. I know a lot of females that are mm -hmm. serious. My own is serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. serious. I have friends that are serious. They wake up early morning to study. They are on campus 24 7. The standard is high. In Liberia, you make 70 and stuff. You pass. Ah. So, you want to try it? Yeah, you pass. Hey. It's not really you easy. Have you have to study. You have to get up and study. It's not just day study. Yes. You have to get up at night and study. Yes. But we're going through all of those stuff here as females. Sure. And why should we be um, portrayed in a bad light? Sure. We hear those things and we just smile because we know ourselves. We know what we stand for. Sure. And we, we, we people back home just want people to live here. And then our, our criteria or our documents are just thrown down the lane and say they went to, to play. Our sure. lecturers are so we should be like, like yes, we can be like, yes, yes. Growth, yes. Uh, we are not saying that people back home are not doing well. People are doing well, people are going to school. But when someone takes a step, at least you should appreciate them. You should um, encourage them, then making them feel. Sometimes we are here and we hear this stuff, so we're like, oh, the last time I was in where I was like, I was like when we carry our document from these people will say, we, we just came to a joke. What yeah. even who school? Some people even told my mom that that school, the, the whole place is push. Yes. So, <laughs> push. Like, I school. Even like, with RAF, RAF have good lecturers. Lecturers that, like, lecturers that have done their PhD. Yes, you don't mind the people go to big, big schools and they come out with nothing. It's not about where you went to school, it's about the seriousness that you put into. What, what you take? Yes, yeah. school is not what you can be taught by the like. best of lecturers, and if you don't want to learn, you wouldn't you learn. Won't. So, RAF is a good school. If you want to. Go to a school that has building, a very big building that's not rough, but what's in the building? What are you sure. getting from there? If you are there, you shouldn't feel discouraged that you are in rough. Take what you went there to take, and that's it. That's, a, a, a, a, a, that's the only advice I can give you. And for those who have been talking about females here, we are not prostitutes. Sure. We are not prostitutes. We are conscious minded. Yes. For you to even survive here, you should be strong. Yeah. Sure. So you should give us credit, like some credit for us to even survive here and not go wayward. If sure. you you or you was put in the same situation, I don't know what you have done. So before you judge, think. Yeah, so that's one myth and want to clear the air. And I think we've done justice yeah. to that. Sure, sure. Yeah. So any other thing? Oh I think I think mm, Yeah. Mm, and here another myth they say oh oh the people are racist, right? Like Yeah, I had that and I was so angry. Like, have you been to China? Hey, have you been to some racist countries? Like, sure. no. You, the people are friendly here. Yeah, good people. Like, you yeah. can be walking and someone will say hello. And Hi. Hello. Like, they tell you, you are even beautiful, like, yes. They look beautiful. They even like to engage in conversations because yes. they speak English. I will yeah. remember yesterday, I went at the... Uh, Boutique, right? We met a lady at the intersection, very old. I think she's around, she's around her eighties or nineties. She was like, "Hello, <laughs> hello, how are you?" That's what they do. Yes, and we, and we have said, Abby "Fine, here. we are okay." We have our daddy Abi. Abi is yeah. Anytime he see you, he encourages she you. He was like, "Our country is hard, but then you have to be focused yes. and get what you yeah. came here to get." Because that's the issue. You came here for something. something. Yeah. So just focus and get no matter what like when people are saying back when we are here, we'll get what we came here for and we'll show it back when sure. we get home. And yeah, that's right. just our focus, you know. We're, nothing is going to perturb us. We are not gonna be perturbed, we are gonna keep pushing forward because that's what we are. Strong, beautiful black ladies. Sure. sure. Okay. <laughs> the myth has been going around that they say we know. Have you been to a racist country? When you be when you get to a racist country, you're gonna know. You're this gonna know. is no 
racism nobody follow you around for pizza and stuff you are free to move like, security is yes yeah, security wise like internet Wi-Fi. Imagine yeah. your Wi-Fi just go off. Back in Africa, data issue is it's kind of a thing. Yeah. So those are myths. Nobody should tell you those stuff because me, I had a lot of stuff and I was very worried. Some of them were true. Some of them were not true. So we have just come to tell you we are on the island. We know what are the truths and what are the myths. That's what we brought to you here today on Precious Corner. Hope you had fun. What do you? What are your last words to people watching you? Generally about North Cyprus, advice you have for them. Okay, for me, I would say this place is a place Munich for school. If you want to come for a visit, well, come summer yeah, time. You, you will enjoy you. your visit here at summer. But Munich, come here for school. We have the best universities in here. My and university in here is and Rap Delta is just representing right here. We have so, good universities, good lecturers, PhD holders, two so, PhD holders, three PhD holders. Imagine a yes. young lady. Yes. Has and they are very PhD. young. Very young. I have one black yeah. teacher and I really admire her. She was able to start here as undergraduate. She did her PhD and now she's teaching in the same school. So it's possible. Anything is possible sure. here in North Side. It's just about taking a step. Yeah. And how long you've been here. You don't just uh, have to come here the same day and you, you want, want everything to, yeah. to just fall into no, no, place. No, no, no. no it's, it's not, not going to work like that. So you have to work with yeah, your yeah. advices. Okay, yes, I'm done with my advice. Okay, so people out there watching, I just want to say North Cyprus is a place of quality education, sure. good health care, good living environment, and of very good tourism sites. So if you want your child, your friend, your brother or sister to be a good engineer like me, to sure. be a medical doctor, like the people have the best of schools, all you need is support to come here yeah. and you need motivation from people back home every single day because this place is not an easy place like every other country is hard but once you come here as a student you will learn you will acquire what you came here for so sure peace out yes that's the lady Mosu and Marun right there i think they sure. said it all north cyprus is here it's a good place for learning it's a good tourist attraction um place you have a lot of tourist sites here you can go and see enjoy yourself during the summer and all of that but mainly this island has been categorized under the educational way yeah when yeah. you want to get and also we forget to mention something it is an or uh, historical site like it said jesus passed somewhere yeah, in from abuja yeah, Bene, uh, oh. Benebas. yeah. Benebas, it, his tomb is here yeah yeah i saw i watched that one youtube video yes it's a it's, they have a lot of historical stuff here jesus passed here come and enjoy yourself so come and enjoy Let no one lie to you get sponsors get support and you can live the best of life on sure. the island that's just it. support support all of these things you hear going around is because of support me i have uh, people in my class that their parents sent them here they are rich they have money and they are okay yeah because they have support we only complain because we do not have support so we want to send the information out there before you think about coming here yes you get good education master's program less than two years you're going to be out so if you have somebody that can send you in to get a good education yeah. why not and it's affordable yeah. as compared to other parts so instead of sitting down and saying okay i want to go to canada i want to go to us before i can get my education you are getting old and yeah, you have sure. little money you can come here and get your master's before you, you 10 50 whilst you are doing your phd uh, whilst you should be doing your phd you are now doing your undergraduate why don't why don't you come here and take the most when is your time to go to canada and us you will go but for now get education for a cheaper price don't wait to go to canada uh, if you have the money you can go but i always tell someone we're having a conversation though it's like and you want to compare mm -hmm. canada education and not cyprus i was like i can never compare Canada, USA, Australia education with North Cyprus, no. Sure. But I don't have that money right now to get there or sure. even pay the school fees or even the process of going there. School I'm going to be trying are. and trying and trying. Why don't I go somewhere? I don't need a visa. I just need a student letter. 
and I have a little money, I get 50% scholarship, I get 30% scholarship. Mm. And I can, yes, mm. and I can go and learn for a cheaper price than waiting for the day God would bless me to go to America or USA. Why don't I take that time to do what I can do right now? What's in my capability to do? So think about it. You get your money, you want to come and get good education. Out of like zero, you can come here if you don't have money to go to Canada or USA. That's my little advice for you. Think wisely. Time is going. Time is not waiting for you to make sure. your decisions. So we just want to help you to know what's happening here. And um, thank you for listening to our rants. Yes, thank you for always coming back to Precious Corner. We are so appreciative. Thank you for subscribing. To this channel and please subscribe please share please like please hit the um, notification button to get the video anytime it come out till we meet again right here on precious corner bye, bye. bye. bye. bye. bye. bye. bye. Mara, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>